like an echo in the echo of an echo in my echo. Recap, because for episode two, you'll only see me there. So this might be strange. BBF has already seen episode two. We watched it together just now. And yes, I did rewatch it again. And the second time? Even better for some reason. <laughs> so, and we're supposed to be filming something else right now. Power through. We're gonna power through with it's day. Harmonize. Let's begin. Did they go home? Yeah, he's back at his noodle thing? shop, yeah. He is now eating coconut. Wait, <gasps> you're right. He's eating the flesh <laughs> of a virgin coconut. <laughs> And why is he examining it like that? Not, I mean, is this natural? Is this how you coconut? Nut? The giant nut? Don't do it. You've touched it way too much. Oh my god, because it reminds him of... Sir? Stop! Sir! <laughs> Get me! Grab me that monkey! But sir, it's having lunch! Grab me that monkey! Sir, it's just a coconut. Get, Get me, me that, that coconut. coconut! Okay, yeah, so we've established that he is sniffing the coconut for science purposes. For science. He's doing it for, for research, French. for Chinese. Yeah, this is for, for Chinese, Chinese language. Yeah, yes. it's about flashcards. Yes. <laughs> this has nothing to do with his budding romance mm -hmm. with his buddy. <laughs> 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 Does the brother mention it? He's like, I thought you hated coconuts. <laughs> Did I write this? <laughs> oh wait, don't I remember episode one was complaining about coconut juice? They were drinking it to this mom because it's like for Chinese something it's suerte. Oh, remember that? And no, it's like, I don't. Mm, I don't like that because it's stinky. Oh no, I've not. God, I completely forgot. Oh, All I see right now is his wet ass <laughs> face. <laughs> because he rubbed the virgin really, coconut flesh. He really did. Full on musket. What's a good song for that? What's a good like. <laughs> oh my god, there. Have you come out? I have a coming out song for you. When you come out, um, I have a song that I'm gonna play for you, okay? I promise. It will be it. Kind of a, it would be an okay one. A friend? A male friend? What, what friend? You know what you can bring him back? Tissues. Tissues. Whole pack. Yeah. <laughs> Where were we? Coconut? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Before we were so rudely interrupted by my brother. Oh my god! Oh my I was god. kidding! Oh! Oh, is this slowly what? getting dirtier? And yeah. Dirtier. It's funny because like that was a dirty scene. Now we see him getting clean. <laughs> is he about the? Is he about the? The breathing noises. Also, I would never be able to take a bath with the window open like that. <laughs> the fuck in a resort, bitch. In a private resort, though. Okay, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, bad. Just kidding. <laughs> no kissy emoji? No, just a very vehement good night. Is he? <laughs> when? Just tell me when. I need to prepare. <laughs> like mentally. Selfie? Tongue out selfie. Tongue out selfie? At like what? 12 oh, midnight? Okay. What time is it? Oh, okay. It, uh, wait. S private story or. Okay. Is he? <laughs> When's it gonna happen? I feel like she just will... needs to prepare. I just need to mentally prepare myself. I need to put the humidifier right next to me as it happens, and I need to breathe. Oh, Good morning. Oh, yeah. yeah, cause his commute is forever. <laughs> it takes him a day to get to school. <laughs> he has to wake up a day before. <laughs> Thank you. 
para kanino ka they umigisi. Have, like, they have the little teddies. Oh. Is that from like childhood? Matching plushies? Yeah. Para kanino ka umigisi <laughs> sa umaga? Yeah, boys, it's 4 a.m. He has to commute. He has a 24-hour commute to school. <laughs> they just listen to each other breathing. Uh -huh. Bro. Or sniffing cook. <laughs> They're just friends. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. At least they're bringing out the best out of each other. No video call? <gasps> oh. <laughs> Zayo, the looks. The looks. I always thought that the red jacket was because it was similar to the the um the, the character the period costume yeah but now i'm not sure to be honest hi hello Anya. it is i editor noah after my second rewatch uh there are some things that i wanted to mention um about the show that i was not able to as of filming this reaction hi not all of the things that i'm going to be mentioning will be restricted to episode three um it's probably going to overarch like episode four and episode five because i said some things in episode five as like criticism against the show that since re-watching the show i have changed my mind on you guys did say that you're fine having a long video and this is going to be a long video so here are the things that i wanted to discuss i listed them down i was always under the impression that the colors in the show were restricted to the characters like how and i know i mentioned this too in episode two how like red is reserved for the character of oeo and then i think maybe for te it's blue as you can see in these shots of the two of them side by side when they're talking on the phone. And that's also an ongoing theme throughout the show, the, both of those colors, almost like a yin and yang. I've come to the conclusion that the colors kind of interchange between both of the characters depending on who's feeling what. So it's kind of like they're both just mood rings of gayness. But what the colors represent still stands. Like I feel like red is to signify anger, passion, desire, etc. And then blue is more calm. Also almost kind of like the ocean in that there's a lot of push and pull that happens between these two characters. But maybe also in a lot of ways red does represent Oeo because in certain scenes they do show his presence even when he's not there by using the color red like when you know when there's a red hibiscus or the red colored pencil etc so maybe there is like a there's more of a tie between the color red and oeo than there is uh, a tie between the color blue and te so the rest of these these three pertain to comments that i made in episode five and spoiler um those comments have to do with like my criticisms about the show regardless of the fact that i like the show a lot like this is seriously one of my favorite shows of all time i had a couple of criticisms in episode five like by the finale uh the main one being that the reason for des hesitation in you know as the, a major conflict within the entire show kind of sounding more convenient for me than it making sense from a storytelling perspective the reason why the whole like him struggling with his sexuality came out of nowhere for me is because there wasn't any outward kind of obvious foreshadowing that led to they actually having that kind of struggle like for a lot of the show if you remember in like episode two when he was faced with homosexuality he didn't have any violent reactions there wasn't anything yeah, like he didn't have any comments about like femininity and gender and and sexuality in general. He was just sort of chill with everything. So the fact that he was struggling with his sexuality came as a surprise to me. And it wasn't something that I thought made sense storytelling wise. But then again, like I said, as I rewatched the show, there were there was actually foreshadowing. I'm going to go back on whatever i said in episode five because there was foreshadowing of it the mm. <laughs> tarn's face and it was body <laughs> this is hard though for ew because it's like 
This is gonna be his straight love story. Yeah. Ooh, oh, oh, ooh, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. It's really not, but okay. It's really not a different there. kind of truth. Really. Yeah, there. You know it's not. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't stop. Stop it. Don't. don't. Stop it, both of you. Both of you, stop it. That's so cute. It's so cute, but at the same time, oh my god, stop! Me as their friend, always popping up like, guys, <laughs> we have to go. <laughs> it's like, fuck that, I'm not doing that anymore. Oh, he's the only one with the flashcards now, you happy? I love how they were sat far apart in episode one, and now they're like, inseparable. Oh my god. Caught between two lovers. Oh no, he's going one way. It's only in one direction. But oh. if it's in two directions, he would be in a very awkward position. Honestly, true. I'm the two. Side, <laughs> nah. side ship. They all have girlfriends. Boring. <laughs> there, see? They're all gonna go to their girlfriends. Oh, yee. Um, uh, so. So. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Buddy. Oh. Uh, excuse me. That's not what he means. You know he'll say one thing, but he'll get so mad. Oh, bass. Don't. Don't. We're not gonna say We're it. We're not gonna say it. We're not gonna say it. Oh. After that flesh of the coconut, <laughs> there is no denying that. You can't just rub your face in a coconut because it reminds you of your friend and still deny your feelings. I don't think that's how it works. Maybe it's not like emotional love. Maybe it's like physical. Why would you eat a flesh? Or... That's not something romantic you think about. Oh, he's so kind. Flesh of a coconut. Right? I mean, you have a point just because there was he was doing that thing to Tarn's hand. Mm -hmm. Maybe he has a, Maybe his love language is physical touch. <laughs> Probably. Maybe his love language is sucking on a coconut. <laughs> Which honestly, like, valid. You know? Valid, valid. Yeah, I never want to invalidate sucking a coconut as a love language. <laughs> oh, Eo manages to pull, like, a physical reaction Response. out of him, yeah. Yeah, because the first... That's the first time we see him, like, have a very um, distinct reaction. It was with the smell of the hair. Yeah. Because even, I, I remember saying to an episode too, it was like, I've seen him kiss Tarn, and that was supposedly, you know, more intimate because mm -hmm. it's their first kiss. But when he sniffed Oeo's hair, there was something about mm -hmm. that that was so much more. Like sparks, you could see sparks it was flying electric. from his nose. Yeah. <laughs> and but, from his hair because of the static. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> and I'm like, I mean, I'm sure Oeo is very clean, but he was mm -hmm. out all day. Yeah. So, you know, the sweat. That could be like um, a head and shoulders commercial. Fresh 24 hours. <laughs> Truly. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, ew. He hates it. He knows who he likes. Yeah. He knows. At this point, it is clear. Yeah, he 1000% knows. French food and Thai food? French. My god, show no. some respect! I know, what the hell? The dead is still warm! <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Wow. Any excuse to touch him. Any excuse. Oh. Mm. <laughs> what is this? Go what is this game they're playing? Oh. Yikes! <laughs> me too. Me too. Oh, yo, me too. <laughs> if I was in love with someone and they were that smooth, the smooth, the smooth. Oh, that's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Knee to knee. He's not moving away. 
I have a, I have a sneaking Maybe suspicion more. though. I have a very like sneaking suspicion that if it does come to a confession mm -hmm. of some sorts, like. I don't think they're ready. I'm hoping I'm wrong, because I don't want to have to watch that. Well, you write most of these shows. You I know. <laughs> I'd rather someone die. Just kidding. <laughs> like, I hope he doesn't say anything homophobic. Because if he says something homophobic, or if he says It doesn't that, make sense, though, for him to say true, anything yeah. homophobic. But uh, right? let's say, I think the most possible thing he would say is, like, it doesn't feel the same way. Because we also know that to be quite impulsive. Mm -hmm. He will say something in the moment, or do something that he knows will definitely definitely mm -hmm. hurt this person True. just because of his anger which makes sense too for his age mm -hmm. and for his for his demeanor yeah mm. groundbreaking mind. conversation okay hang on Bye -bye keep now. it in your face <laughs> keep it in behind your face behind your face behind your face Wow! Oh my God, that's beautiful. Yes. Everybody say thank, thank you, you oh, oh. Will there be alcohol involved <laughs> or c -c 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 coconut? <laughs> Perhaps some coconutic <laughs> libations. Oh no, three bedrooms. <laughs> Who's gonna share? <laughs> Perfect. You <laughs> plan this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Next. Well, All right. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Next, next. Interesting. He's doing the thing. He's trying to make him jealous. I mean, he learned from the best, didn't he? Lao Shit. Yeah. You tutor him well. You're really dead. Sneak out at night? <laughs> oh, I can see why, like, there was. I think there was a comment before that said that they could compare the show almost to Call Me By yeah. Your Name. And I can see what you mean. Like, mm -hmm. sometimes. I think it's like the the music sometimes and like the way that it's edited and the the choice for scenes how they prolong it and where they cut it and uh -huh. then jump to the next there are similarities there i do see it yeah you'll know when something's building up because uh -huh. there's the slow pan and then the music and then typically just like one or two types of instruments playing in the background for score and yeah it is it is pretty similar i would say though that like maybe one of the main differences is like the way that they cut the scenes because like in call me by your name it really is just like it, a, a scene will begin and end in the middle of a conversation whereas here there is at least a, a cleaner wrap up to scenes like you'll know when we're about to switch to a new one okay. elio actually that there's a fourth room <laughs> oh excited okay um <laughs> Yeah, I love how like he can sense tension. I There's know. just tension period. He doesn't know that it's sexual tension. <laughs> tension of the sexual persuasion. Damn, that's cold. Easy, I thought easy, it was easy, summer. Beautiful. Why is it cold, girl? Teacher Te Hot. You can't be staring at one of your students constantly, bro. And you can't stare at your teacher also. Constantly. That's true. It goes both <laughs> ways. It's a two-way highway. What are we doing? I'm hot for teacher. Wait, what is he doing? Is he unbuttoning his buttons? <laughs> In front of everyone? Wait. Hand out? What's happening? If they actually kiss, I'm gonna crumble. I will Thanos away. <gasps> also what? trying to get close to him? Stop what is it? this? Stop! One this of them is, is the future. moon, the other is the water. Kiss me. <laughs> oh? Oh? Oh, we're going in. We're going in both. <laughs> Safe bet, sis. Safe bet. <clears throat> Can you stay up there? Stop! Did he hit that? 100% or nothing. It's just a chip. I am. I am not. I am. No. 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 He's crawling. Ew. It's so sad. I. I get. This is in his mind. This is. This is all in his mind. This is all in his mind. I'm calling it. No, it's that's, not. This that's... looks no. This is real. 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 This, this is, is real. too much. He is so. He is, looks so submissive, like crawling over that way. I cannot <laughs> get over this. Ew! <laughs> Why the eye contact? I just like okay, you crawl there, fine. But the eye contact while you chew, the way he went down on his knees before even reaching him, so much about this. 
instead of just sitting there confidently waiting, the fucking the slide down the thighs, everything, everything. It's so sensual. It's not sexual. It's sensual. Is this real? Oh my god. This is real. Yeah. Let me do that again. <laughs> Free lay sponsorship too in this pivotal scene. I just want to see him go down and think we're just gonna be here for an hour. I don't know. I just it's so sensual. Reacting to the, the slow knee slide walk for also, 12, two hours. It's so specific. Like, I can hear the direction in this. <laughs> oh, to see without my eyes. His heart is about to burst out of his chest. You can tell. You can tell from his Hawaiian shirt. I threw the sneak out here. Oh. Show me around. I haven't seen the resort yet. <laughs> Do you want to give me a tour? He's going to try. Just to confirm things. Yeah? Poor Bass, though. I know. He's not an experiment. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to go through with this. <laughs> oh, uh, I was just, um, you're awake! I, uh... Just try to sniff if we have the same coconut smelling. Uh, there was a fly. Oh. He really likes you. We're making a lot of promises. He oh. just said just the yeah, two of you. Yeah, he said just the two of you. You draw the oh. line in bed? Really, Eo? Is it him though? Okay. Turning him down? Yeah. Easily. In bed? In bed. Just as he was about to kiss him. <laughs> Men. Good night. I'm gonna go see the guy if I like. If Bass cries, I'm gonna lose him. Wow. They have this room, <laughs> and he was about to kiss him in this <laughs> bed? Just shoot him. It's kinder. Oh. He was awake the whole time. Two of them are gonna hurt so many people, uh, including themselves. Including us. <laughs> yeah. Do I have that shirt? <laughs> I think I do. Okay, I'm not ready for sexual tension. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, Hit okay, me. okay. Five feet apart. But they're gay. They only has one button in. <gasps> I didn't realize. They. Did those buttons come apart when he <laughs> with O L stepped out of the room? Do you wanna? Do you need help? Coconuts. Yeah, do you want help? <laughs> Maybe... To come over? There's a fine exactly. line between... Exactly! They're Code. crossing it. Yeah. For fuck's sake! <laughs> what? <laughs> no buttons now. We are at no buttons. Running? Oh my god, there he is, running along the beach. At 4 a.m. Oh, there they go! Hello, annoying. Hello, hi. I can't do this. I quit. I quit. I quit the series. I quit the reactions from the end. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it anymore. And I can decide when I'm going to stop. I stopped here. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, it's been great. Uh, thank you so much for your support thus far. I quit. Not just this series. I quit YouTube. I don't want to live when this ends. I don't want it. What other shows am I gonna watch? <laughs> I'm, I'm blushing. <laughs> oh, you really are. <laughs> it's too much for me, too. They really built it up so well. So well. That now, <laughs> if they kiss, it will be my cause of death. <laughs> and I'm gonna shoot myself in the head. <laughs> Just kidding. Damn it. <laughs> Ask for that reward again. <laughs> I'm so flustered. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. I was kidding the first time. Now I'm not. I'm quitting. How am I going to not keep watching this? Get some coconuts. And just snip. I hate coconuts. <laughs> the only coconuts I'm having is coconut oil. <laughs> and if it's not virgin, get that shit away from me. <laughs> I'm sure Ted agrees. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What is episode four? <laughs> oh no! There's gonna shit's gonna go down. I feel it. I can feel it. This is too. This is this is this is the the climb up the roller coaster. Something's gonna go down eventually. You know who I want to pray to? Who? The brother Hun. <laughs> Who's in Japan right now? Who's in Japan right now with Same. his friend? With his Japanese friend? Yes. Let's begin. And then H for Hun.
home at the same time. <laughs> I hope that when you leave on that jet plane that you come back again. <laughs> oh, oh babe. babe. <laughs> We're doing this under the shadows. Uh -huh. That's dirty. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. <laughs> I moved closer to the screen even though I'm scared. Did you oh, really did have, you have to? Have to like go around. He the did. Head? It was necessary. <laughs> That's not a. That's not a reward. They keep hitting each other. True. Love language. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Lao Thighs! 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 Oh Hand on thighs! No, he no. likes somebody else. Yikes, you are caught, my dude. Oh no, no, no! Oh, it! 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 Shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. You're smart. I will hit him Luna. Yeah. Oh my god. The tele the telepathy? Oh shit. You have been caught, sir. It looks like Sokjin in this angle. Right? <gasps> BBF! I said that in episode 2! I said that exact yeah, same thing it, in episode 2. Like I kept Sokjin. calling him Sokjin! Oh, he's got he, Are you? Are you gonna go for him? Are, are you? Are you coming to the tree? <laughs> is the coconut here? Oh, the, co the coconut nut is a giant he nut? He admits, he also admitted oh. it. They, they have admitted oh. it. <laughs> Oh, he gave him his flower. Is this a gumamela? Yeah. That's a hibiscus? Yeah, hibiscus. Gumamela is hibiscus in English. Crazy. Crazy. That was it it was bro. Yeah, it was a different hibiscus he wanted, bro. I was gonna say, like, I do like that about Oeo that he didn't force it or anything because I think he knows. He knows them more than anyone. Mm -hmm. So he knows that maybe Te isn't ready. Yeah. And they don't have to say, they don't have to go into full sentences in order to express what each other is feeling. And they just know. So he doesn't have to say much. Also, I have a feeling that maybe even though it looked like he was the one... Wait. Wait, I see clothes on the floor. <laughs> Hold Where on. Either he's unpacking or, you know... The other one. <laughs> Careful I think he's them. maybe he's unpacking. unpacking. Yeah, he's unpacking. Those are all his clothes. I don't think Oeo is in here. Yeah. Okay, just one pair of legs. Yes. Okay. 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 I'm breathing. I'm fine. He wore the flower. Oh, yeah. Yeah, probably not. I see you typing. <laughs> hey, what oh, you? He has the scar here. Bahuna. Explain to us what this is about. What's what's his deal? Is this his? Is this, this the is his coconut paper? pen? It's his coconut pen. This is call me by your name. <laughs> this is Elio sniffing army <laughs> hand. I mean, sorry, um, Oliver's <laughs> underwear. Oliver. Oliver. Yes. yes. His, his name underwear. is Oliver. All his name is Oliver. That's what I called him by his saying, name. Yeah. What? The place! It's their place! Hi! Uwu? He's in red again. Hello? Oh my god! Hello? <laughs> we should be watching this! It's their moment! I know. I'm gonna continue watching. <laughs> Respectfully. Kabulin mo? Kabulin mo? How do you do it? Oh my god! The little smile? You know what? He didn't see Oeo there. He smelled him before he saw him. Whoa! 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 Whoa, Oops. whoa, 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 whoa. I was not. <laughs> whoa, hold on. Oh. What am I? Are you no? Put the guy behind me, man. Oh, 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 o
he was kidding. He meant you <laughs> when he said meet someone. <laughs> he meant you. <laughs> this whole thing about tutoring, I feel like in in Te's mind, the way that he's reasoned it out is that it's okay for these things to happen as long as it's under the guise of tutoring him for Chinese because this was their strongest connection when they were growing up and now into their adulthood as long as they're meeting for Chinese lessons and not for anything other than that then it's okay it's not gay I feel like that's how he sees it and then oh El obviously picks up on this because he's smart and this is his best friend so he gets it he starts communicating to Te his feelings in Chinese tutoring style. That's why he was like practicing writing male protagonists and then female protagonists. And then prior to this too, when they were still outside, they was sort of trying to communicate his feelings through the song, the theme song of the show Yongjen that they watched when they were kids. It hurts me to know that about Oh Eo that when I say that Oh Eo tried, he really tried to the point where he tried to speak Te's language. Because while Te was over here being like, oh, this is innocent. This is Chinese tutoring. This is just what happens when I tutor you for Chinese. Oh, Eo is on the other end of this being like, I don't care whatever, the, whatever you call it. I don't care what you call it. As long as we get to be together, we get to sit together. I don't care if you call this Chinese tutoring, if you call this dating, if you call this whatever works in your head, straight boy, then we'll do that. We'll call it that. Now what we're seeing here are two boys that understand societal pressure and the weight on their shoulders and they also understand that there's going to be a lot of difficulty with the two of them if they proceed to be together. I think Oeo also understands this. It's hard to like gauge sometimes because he's the one that's pursuing Te in a lot of the scenes. He's the one that's more like who who cares? Let's just do whatever we feel like doing. But in episode four I think it's five or no four the one where he was out with Baz and then Baz grabs his hand he actually he did a double take oh it was like what are you doing you're holding my hand we're in public so I think oh it also recognizes these feelings despite the fact that he's the first to be more familiar with who he is and what he likes like right here when the camera pans I remember too when I watched this for the first time I saw this painting and I kept thinking, like, what is this? <laughs> what is this painting? Does it mean anything? And I don't know how I'd be able to look up this painting because I'm stupid. But what I do understand about this painting is that the colors of red and blue are still present. Like, you see, I think these are two bystanders or maybe they're children of these two people right here. And they're pointing and looking at the couple. <laughs> both of which are in red and blue and then as that camera is panning to the left and it goes past the photo the next thing you see are the two male protagonists they're under the shadow they're under the staircase this also goes back to episode three where like here in this scene where oil comes in for a cuddle and then that kind of puts his hand on him and faces him away to the front but then right after he does that, he puts his hand on Oeo's like thigh, but it's under the table. Te is okay to do any of these things so long as it's hidden from view, as long as it's underneath something, in the shadows of something, under the staircase, under the table. Like that's how he likes to do it. And then eventually in episode four, Te talks about how he likes floating like this on top of the water because it makes him feel like something's holding him up. And in comparison to that, Oeo's response is that it actually makes him tired to stay afloat. He'd rather release his breath because when you're at the top, you have to hold your breath to remain in that position and it can get tiresome. And that's why sometimes he just likes to release his breath. And as he does that, he sinks underwater. Having to make the effort to stay on the surface is tiresome to both of them. And that is why they can only really be themselves when they release that breath and then they are underwater they had to be themselves and they're completely hidden too and i think that's why these shots that are seen after they sink down to the water is so it's poignant like it's beautiful they're beautiful shots but it also 
is such a great service to the story like it has purpose all you really see from the outside is like clothes for forlornly like hanging on a hammock or a view of the beach but unbeknownst to any of us you know there's something happening right beneath with you yikes Bang -ya, bang -ya, bang -ya. Whoa! Whoa! Ooh, the oh! 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 Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, me too! Sneaks in. Like the romantic couple they are. Whoa. They did sneak in. Why are they- I always thought that this was where they used to practice as kids. The shrine. Yeah, though the feet, the grounds thingy. Yeah. Oh, they're also praying. Same. This is a date. Hello. Oh. 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 <laughs> no, yeah, this is a good idea. This is a good idea. Trust. It's gonna be fine. Where's the motorcycle? String. This is your dream, oh ew. Dude, these prolonged shots of them just breathing. Oh, and he's just there. So you're like, okay, let's go. Whenever you're ready, I'm ready. Oh, they made it, but the clouds oh. are walking. All his luck was gone ever since. This is gonna happen. His plane crashes? Maybe I'm done start yet! Yeah. <laughs> Song! Sam! Woo! Cute. Oh, he's gonna write the thing? Good hair, Bella. Two of us. One, two. Yeah. And so good looking from the side. Oh, that's why he wanted to be an actor so badly. Oh. He appears on TV, on the news. Stop, 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 stop! You started it! His rival, his equal. Oh. <laughs> Corny one. <laughs> you have to walk back too is the thing no one's talking about. <laughs> but okay. It's Adam's apple. My god, did he swallow a rabbit? Coconut. That makes sense. It's still there. He can sing? So chill. <laughs> Well, there's a season two, BBF. Sure. 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 Why all these lines about separation? Bro, if you don't kiss him, my best friend will. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna watch that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Is it? Oh my 
Oh. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Okay, good. The coast is, is clear. clear. Okay, that was a fun movie. Um, so. Did you? Time to sleep over. Or he could call back. Oh. oh my god! Oh my god! I am going to cry. What the hell? What did we do to you, that? What the hell? <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm going because they're sore from all the walking. We... Oh, this is a massage. Yeah, this is, a, massage. This this is a, a completely a... hetero massage. Yeah. Return the favor. Ah! I guess they're both sore from all that walking. Just sit closer, <laughs> bruh. Oh my god! It's bound to get hard. <laughs> I I'm not quite sure that neither are not. <laughs> Did that make sense? I'm trying to say that both of them have chubs for sure. Oh my god. Cock blocker god. mother. <laughs> she really be. <laughs> the way he ran to that safe. <laughs> to feel <laughs> safe. <laughs> I know why he's here, but still, why are you here? <laughs> there are I can help you with that! This <laughs> feature is called a sunset. Get out. Is it really? Yeah. Sunset. I see you. Mm. <sighs> oh, I mean, we're still sore from the walk. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is calling me by your name. <laughs> Lol? That's harsh. Where are your hands? Okay. Girl, girly girls, let's go. <laughs> Is he gonna touch him? Are you touching him still? Will he suddenly stop writing? <gasps> Why is everything so sensual? <laughs> you got him, you got him, you got him, you got him, you got him. Good job. Reward time! <laughs> SM reward card! <laughs> then you get I told, I told Sunset about you. <laughs> His back itches? He's not scratching. He's not scratching. That's not a scratch. Come on, just. Oh my god. Oh? What? What is this show doing to us? <laughs> no, like, this is exactly what they called me by her name was, I swear. It was just a lot of, like, oh, like breathing each other in and stuff. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is. This is. I have to blur this out. <laughs> They're not even naked. Oh, did someone? Did someone? What happened? Why the sudden. Did someone? Did you? Oh, what the heck? He doesn't want to kiss. Did someone prematurely? Oh no, he's, he looks ravished. What happened though? What was that? No, I think, yeah, I think he just like, either he came. Yeah, it, Or it, he it, just like, was done. Like he just realized that it, it looked was like weird. someone came. Like honestly, yeah, and very he, tactile. And he was even touching ew, like a woman. So as you can see, we were confused as to what was happening here, and I think like when I watched the scene for the first time, I genuinely thought that they had kind of come to his senses in the middle of whatever was happening in this entire in this entire affair he just out of nowhere came to his senses and was like i should stop this but now like after having rewatched it a second time i think i kind of understand what sparked it like what the what the catalyst was for him the focus of the camera in this frame is a lot of like hands on oeo's chest and this is repeated too in episode four when they were finally kissing is like they has a tendency to grab him in the chest as if 
as if oh it was a was a girl because maybe that's all then knows i think that maybe until oh Eo, he was never really attracted to men so he couldn't kind of reconcile that in his head he thought that it was just a phase and it was something that was going to fade away eventually and the way that they had started treating Oeo resulted in how Oeo eventually acted in episode 4 like when he tried to look at himself differently when he borrowed his mother's bra that was a whole thing also in terms of foreshadowing for they struggling with his sexuality I think Oeo understood that because in this scene he asks De about male protagonists and is it all right for a show to be carried by two male protagonists without a female protagonist present? And although it wasn't like so, there wasn't like a huge focus on it, I think that was one of the ways in which the show was trying to tell us that they was struggling with this stuff. But we didn't see it through that is the thing. Like I only ever saw it as an actual struggle for Te when he said it out loud but the first person to ever really point this stuff out for him was all Eo and I think that's where the confusion came from on my end um, upon my first viewing is because I thought that all Eo was just assuming these things but in reality it makes sense for all Eo to be the one to put forth all of these issues because he knows Te more than that kind of knows himself and that's kind of like interchangeable between both of these characters. I didn't include this in episode 5, but one of the reasons too why I was kind of disappointed in finding out that, you know, just from, again, just from a storytelling perspective, why I was kind of disappointed in the fact that the reason why that was hesitant was because he was struggling with his sexuality. And this was before when I thought that there was no foreshadowing to begin with. It was also because, like, I feel like the story has been told time and time again. And I would have also been interested in seeing perhaps a character that just struggles with sex, intimacy, that type of stuff in general. Like, the thought of navigating through those waters as a teen being daunting. I thought that that would be more of the theme that was happening here was him just like struggling to come to terms with the fact that his relationship with his best friend has completely evolved. But now, like I said, now having rewatched this again and then seeing all these things again, I actually like this because I would say that the intimacy levels here are heightened by the fact that the struggle of sexuality was never an outward thing that we saw through Te. I guess that's why I, I don't only forgive it, like I get it. This episode was just full on sexual tension. Um, it was crazy. Crazy! Everything about it was so well done. Again, I oh see the Call God. Me By Your Name comparison. Yeah, actually. But it still feels like a natural pace of... Oh yeah, for sure. Budding... <laughs> Budding relationship buddies. between yeah. two buddies. Between two buddings. <laughs> that was great. Okay. That was great. The Chad was great. The Chad was great. We have to pray, laugh. I'm gonna so Tyrannosaurus Rex, Rex pray it. <laughs>